it became known how Ukrainian forces shoot down Russian aircraft every day, expert explains. Recently, the defenders of the Ukrainian sky have been shooting down more and more Russian Su-34 fighters and other enemy aircraft. Most likely, this became possible not because of certain types of anti-aircraft missiles, but thanks to the skill of Ukrainian air defense crews. Ivan Kirishevsky, a Ukrainian military expert of the Defense Express portal, said this on the air of Espresso. He stressed that now the question is not what exactly shot down the Russian planes, but that this was done despite the countermeasures of the enemy. Our air defense has learned to operate under constant pressure from the enemy in the frontline zone and has learned to shoot down Russian aircraft. It is unlikely that such an intensity of shooting down is associated with the arrival of certain types of anti-aircraft missiles. Rather, this is the operational skill of our anti-aircraft forces, Kirichevsky said. The fact that the Ukrainian air defense forces have learned to shoot down the occupier's combat aircraft is evidenced by a number of boards lost by the enemy during the last month alone. On February the 27th, on the day of intense fighting, the soldiers managed to land two Russian Su-34 aircraft. The expert also suggested what types of weapons the Sky Defenders could use for this. It can be different variations of the Patriot. Even within the framework of the project, Franken Sam talked about different Western parts. Also, some of our bodies said that we had a Death Star called the S-200 Systems, which has a declared passport range of up to 250 kilometers. We also have Italian French Samp T, which also has a fairly high range of aerodynamic targets, he said. US House Speaker Johnson assures Zelensky of support for Ukraine. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson has pledged to President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky to do everything to continue aid to Ukraine, according to Zelensky's interview with CNN. According to the Ukrainian president, when he spoke with Johnson, he said he supports Ukraine. He said that he will do everything to support Ukraine and he's on our side and he understands how heroic our people, our soldiers and civilians are. Zelensky said he revealed that he reached out to U.S. President Joe Biden and Johnson to urge them to pause the differences between Democrats and Republicans to reach an agreement on Ukraine. Zelensky said that the election period is tough and he thinks Johnson as well as Biden heard the message he delivers and that's all he could do. He couldn't push the speaker. It's his decision. But I think he understands all the problems we face, said Zelensky. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that Vladimir Putin gains every day as the U.S. House of Representatives postpones the adoption of a new aid package for Ukraine. On February the 13th, the United States Senate supported a bill to aid Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan for $95 billion. Over $60 billion is earmarked for Ukraine. However, for this bill to take effect, it must be approved by the U.S. House of Representatives and signed by President Joe Biden. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson opposed the initiative, following which President Joe Biden called on the House of Representatives to approve the bill. However, the U.S. House of Representatives announced a recess until February the 28th, thereby delaying the process of providing aid to Ukraine. Iran transfers hundreds of 700-kilometer range ballistic missiles to Russia. Iran allegedly provided Russian occupiers with around 400 ballistic missiles. They are capable of destroying targets up to 700 kilometers away, according to Reuters. Three unnamed Iranian sources told the media outlet that part of the transferred missiles are from the Fateh-110 short-range ballistic missile family, including the Zolfagar. Such a missile is capable of destroying targets at distances ranging from 300 to 700 kilometers. As one of the Iranian sources revealed, the deliveries began in early January after an agreement was reached at meetings between Iranian and Russian military and security service representatives at the end of last year. These meetings took place in Tehran and Moscow. Another unnamed Iranian military official clarified that there have already been at least four deliveries of missiles. 
The new transfer is expected next week. Another official stated that some of the missiles were sent to Russia by ship via the Caspian Sea, while others were transported by plane. There will be more shipments. There is no reason to hide this. We are allowed to export weapons to any country that we wish to, he added. An American official informed Reuters that Washington has seen evidence of active negotiations between Russia and Iran, but there are no signs yet that the deliveries have taken place. Rumors that Russia wants to obtain Iranian ballistic missiles spread as early as last year. Ukrainian intelligence services are verifying information about a possible transfer by Iran of its ballistic missiles to Russia, stated Andriy Cheniak, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, in a comment to RBC Ukraine. Iran became the first country to supply weapons to Russia for the war with Ukraine. Thus, the Russian army consistently receives Shahed strike drones from Iran, which are used to attack Ukrainian cities and infrastructure. In addition, Iran helped Russia set up its own production of these drones. <music>